If you're curious about moving to Oceanside and want to gather at least five things that you must know, then please stay tuned because today I'm going to cover the five things that you must know when moving to Oceanside, California. And I'm about to get after it right now. Hey, so I've been a real estate professional for greater than 12 years now. Now living in San Diego County, I get people reaching out to me, asking me questions of what it's like living in specific cities, suburbs, and throughout San Diego County. So if you have any questions of what it's like to live within San Diego County, live in North County or Oceanside, or you have city-specific questions, then feel free. Call the number below. You can call, text, email. All my contact information is below. Reach out to me. I'm a friendly guy. I mean, come on. So 760-456-9222. Always here to help. Now, let's get into it. So number one, let's cover the first thing that you must know in moving to Oceanside, California. And this is kind of a hidden gem of not only Oceanside, California, but the rest of, really rest of San Diego County. So having grown up in Orange County, when I would go out to eat with friends and family, we would always go to restaurants. It was a standalone building, usually a big chain restaurant, or you knew where you were going because it was a single building in Oceanside there are a ton of strip malls and really throughout all of San Diego County there are a ton of strip malls and some of the gems of these strip malls are the places to eat and I'm telling you this because it was astonishing to me when I found out that how many fantastic places were located in these strip malls you know I, I would be traveling as a kid and with my parents you know my family and I would be doing road trips and we travel outside of California and we come across strip malls and little hole in the wall places. And I say that with, with the warmest of regards in that, that usually the hole in the wall places have some of the best food. I mean, let's be honest, they, they do. They've been there 15, 20 years and they've survived, you know, the ups and downs of the markets and whatnot. But they stay, they are there because they have fantastic food. And that's exactly what Oceanside is like. Everywhere I go, my wife and I, we go to these strip malls and we find hidden gems every single week we go out. We have fantastic Mexican food in these strip malls. We have Indian food, sushi restaurants. Um, we even have a Korean barbecue in, in one of the strip malls. Chinese food. There's tons of food and they're located within these strip malls. They're not huge, extravagant, kind of like Benihana's and stuff. Don't get me wrong. Benihana's is killer, but these strip malls really have the hidden gems. So the first thing to know about Oceanside, California when moving here is when you are hunting for your home and trying to figure out what neighborhood to stay in, it's important to look outside the neighborhood and see what strip malls are around because that is going to be where you're taking your family for dinner and it may not look like a place you could go eat because it's just this basic strip mall. It might have some nail salons in it in a Lowe's or a Home Depot. But within that parking lot, you're going to find five star, and I say five star on Yelp, reviewed restaurants. And it's important to see throughout these neighborhoods and throughout your search in Oceanside, if this is the place where you're going to move, that you look and see what is around there. And don't discount those strip malls, man. I'm telling you, there are good food in those strip malls. So check it out. Do your due diligence. Take a look around. If you have any questions, you can call me. Number two, to piggyback off of the great eats and great little gems you can find within the strip malls throughout Oceanside, California, I'm going to kind of piggyback off that with taking your family around Oceanside and enjoying some good family time. It is great for families. There's tons of walking parks. There's tons of parks with swing sets and things for the kids to play on, let alone if you just go downtown Oceanside, for example, kind of by the pier, they revitalized that whole area. And they've put over, I think it's over $2 billion. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a billion dollars, 1.5. 
We'll call it 1.5. That sounds about right. $1.5 billion downtown. This whole re 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 revitalization process within the downtown area. They put some killer hotels. There's great places to eat. There's great things to do. For example, on every Thursday from 9 to 1, you can go visit the market, the farmer's market. And that's right down there in Oceanside, downtown. And what else is really cool about that is a lot of the food that is hosted or brought into the, the, the farmer's market downtown is from the farms that are inland, basically to the east within Oceanside. There are a lot of farms here in North County. North County is still a lot of farmland. So the east inland side of Oceanside, you're gonna find a ton of farmland. That farmland supplies our farmer's market. We think it's fantastic that a lot of the food that is in these farmer's markets is hyper local. I, I, I love supporting local. I love getting you know fresh organic greens and fruits and veggies to throw on the table and, and cook with. And having that come straight from my backyard is, is fantastic to me. So that's every Thursday. Downtown, you'll get a farmer's market. There's farmer's market pretty much in every city throughout North County, but Oceanside's is on Thursdays. Also downtown, you have a mural walk. You can go and cruise around. Um, there's plenty of you know artists have, have, have gone over these buildings. Local artists have, have painted over these buildings, beautiful murals. There's, I want to say, half a dozen or two dozen of them throughout the downtown area. So go check those out with the family. You can go, or you can even go on a nature walk, like in the Buena Vista Lagoon. It's one of the only freshwater lagoons in California. So why don't you take the family there and go for a, a walk and enjoy some nature? But all in all, Oceanside, all encompassed, has a great family oriented vibe to it. And if you're definitely into the outdoors, it's a great fit for you. Okay, number three, three, number three, might not be the most savory, but when you're in Oceanside, you, you might often hear a little boom, boom, bang, bang. And what I mean by that is not gunshots. Well, they are gunshots, but they're military gunshots. So being so close to Pendleton, they do training pretty much weekly, it sounds like. And literally, it sounds like they're doing training weekly. You can look on the Camp Pendleton's website to see exactly what they are doing those days and when they plan to do training and what type of training they're doing. Oftentimes, however, you will be, let's say, for example, in your home and you'll hear a gunshot or a a loud boom, almost like it's 4th of July, and it, if you in the San Luis Rey or North Oceanside area, right against Camp Pendleton, you will feel it in your home. Nothing to be alarmed of. It's our great military doing the training to protect us, and it's something to know. It, it might be a negative for a lot of people. For me, um, you know, I, I am a, a veteran, so I don't think too much about it. It's part of you know our country training and, and the Marines doing their thing. So yeah, cool. But if, for example, you have pets and they don't like 4th of July, that might be something you want to uh, focus on. It, it might be a, a deal breaker for you if, if your pets are always stressed out or you're stressed out from the boom, boom, bang, bang. So look into it and when you are searching throughout Oceanside and you want to see what it's like, I recommend maybe heading to the golf course that's right here by the uh, Camp Pendleton training area. It's the Callaway Golf Course or Elway Golf Course and hang out there. Go hit some golf balls, maybe go into the club, grab a drink and some food to experience what those sounds are like and how strong they are. They are noticeable, but for me, for example, I've gotten used to them. And now I don't really notice them. So it's up to you. Check it out. The fourth thing to know when moving to Oceanside, California, is going to be the amount of new builds we have. I think it's fantastic, especially in the market we're in, where it is highly competitive and there's not enough houses to go around. There are plenty of 
new builds happening in Oceanside. For example, there's one that's going on now it's east of the Oceanside Airport. There's going to be a wave pool there. There'll be some shopping, some luxury living, and th th that's going to happen in the next couple of years. But currently now we have tons of townhome development projects, a few single family home development projects. But for example, the Pacific Ridge has some great floor plans to go over and I can do a video on that in the future. If you are interested, leave me a comment down below and I'll, I'll get that covered for you or send it over privately to you if, if that's something you're interested in. And I could do a private tour for you as well. But the the new home builds are going to revitalize the entire city. A lot of them are in the Ivy Ranch, Rancho Del Oro area where most of the planned developments have already taken place throughout Oceanside over the years. There's also a beautiful golf course in that area as well. More of these homes are gonna help not only bring more housing to Oceanside, it's gonna help our values in Oceanside, and it'll also help the style of living develop throughout Oceanside. Now, the fifth thing to know before moving to Oceanside, California, and I think it's one of the most important, and it is also one of the star standouts, in my opinion, in my opinion alone, I think this is one of the best things about Oceanside. So if you're a commuter and you drive to Orange County, you drive to LA, or you go inland, Oceanside is a fantastic spot to be in. And here's why. So if you take geographically, you have San Diego, downtown area, and if you come on north, before you hit Pendleton, you got Oceanside, and then you go through Pendleton, which takes you about 20 minutes on the five freeway to get from the south side of Pendleton to the north side of Pendleton. And then you're in Orange County, and from there you continue on another half hour and you're in LA County. So if you take that, let's say you live downtown San Diego, now you are adding an extra half hour, 40 minutes from downtown to Oceanside. Or if you wanna go downtown to Temecula, you're gonna add another 40 minutes. That being said, being in Oceanside, you have three thoroughfares to go down. You have the five freeway, which travels north and south towards on, on the west side of Oceanside towards the beach. You have the 76, which is a east to west on the north side of Oceanside, which will take you from the 5 freeway all the way down to the, into the 15 freeway. And that from there, you, you're basically at Temecula. Or we have the 78, which borders Oceanside and Carlsbad, and that can get you all the way into Escondido and south inland Oceanside, or south inland San Diego County from there. So East County area. But all in all, if you're looking for accessibility within the county of San Diego, besides being in a super central spot and having access to the majority of just San Diego County, Oceanside offers not only the access to San Diego County as a whole, but it also offers access to quick access to Inland Empire and Orange County up to the north in a means of 30 to 40 minutes max. So if you are a commuter and you drive to work in any other city but Oceanside or any other county outside of San Diego County, then you might want to consider Oceanside uh, as a place to call your home because quite honestly, saving a half hour helps, especially during the long day when you want to come home and go to bed. That is everything I have to say about Oceanside. Those are the five things to know when moving to Oceanside coming from me and me alone, in my opinion. And if you have anything else you'd like to add, feel free to send them, send them down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any and all questions you do have. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel or you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, you might as well hit the bell notification so you can be alerted every time I do make new videos that are valuable to you. So again, if you haven't yet, subscribe button right here, hit that sucker or right here. So that way you can uh, be notified every time I do bring a new video. We're bringing videos every week from Oceanside, Carlsbad, Encinitas, all the way down through downtown and around the San Diego County area. All things living, 
playing, eating, sleeping, pros, cons, good, bad, and ugly. So stay tuned and subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you want to stay alerted of things happening and what it's like to live in North County, San Diego. Thank you.